Hello, my name is Javier Sánchez Hernández and I am a student of computer science at the Carlos III University of Madrid. I'm doing this video for the subject of component based design from the fourth grade. The aim of the video is to explain the operation of Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 component and make a small example of use. So I'll start with the explanation of the component. Microsoft Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 is a versatile technology that organizations and business units of all sizes can use to increase the efficiency of business processes and improve team productivity. With tools for collaboration that help people stay connected across organizational and geographic boundaries, Windows SharePoint Services gives people access to information they need. Sites based on Windows SharePoint Services called SharePoint Sites take file storage to a new level, providing communities for team collaboration that make it possible for users to collaborate on documents, tasks and events, and make it easier for them to share contacts and other information. Windows SharePoint Services enables managers of teams and sites to manage site content and user activity easily. Built on Microsoft Windows Server 2003, Windows SharePoint Services also provides a foundation platform for building web-based business applications that can flex and scale easily to meet the changing and growing needs of your business. Rose administrate controls for managing storage and web infrastructure give IT departments a cost-effective way to implement and manage a high-performance collaboration environment. After this little introduction, I am going to explain a simple example of how to create a site. The first you need, as you can see, is to have Windows Server 2003 installed on your server. I'm running it over a virtual machine using Virtual PC 2007, so it's really slow because I don't have so much memory. But I cut the video to make it more dynamic. After having installed Windows SharePoint Services 3.0, you only have to enter to the SharePoint 3.0 Central Manager and click on Application Management. In this menu, you have to click on Create or Extend a Web Application. Now we have to click on Create a New Web Application. This is the key menu, where you are going to configure everything. If you have some existing IIS website, you can use it, but in our case, with SharePoint recently installed, we must to create a new IIS website. You can write a description if you want, or you can let it by default, as I'm doing. It's important to remember the port where the site will be accessed 
but in my example I let it with the default value. I let the security configuration as default, but if you want, you can change it depending on your needs. As security account for this group of applications, I will use my Windows user account. If you could, it's good to select the option to restart IIS automatically. After making these choices, you can click on accept button at the bottom of the page. Now we have to wait for a while, depending on the machine features. When this process is finished, you will be able to see a screen like that where it says application created. If you have select before restart IIS automatically, you avoid this step, but if you didn't, you need to restart IIS manually as I do. Now you have to click on Create Collection of Sites. By this time, we are going to configure the first site of the collection by filling one form. First of all, the system needs a title for the site, and if you want, a description of the site. As I'm making only an example, I will not write any description. As you can see, we can choose the type of site we prefer between some options as group site, bank site, document area, wiki site, or blog. I'm going to choose group site and after that I have to write my username for two times and click on accept. After waiting for a while, less than before, we obtain the site and the message which says The top level site was successfully created. If you have select before restart IIS automatically, you can avoid this step, but if you didn't, you need to restart IIS manually as I did before. And after doing this step, you only need to enter at the URL and you will get the created site where you will be able to modify what you need. This tutorial finished here and I hope you learned how to begin with Windows SharePoint Services 3.0. Goodbye.